Hey everyone, Eugene here. Hope you're all well. Uh, welcome back. I've got um, kind of a Lay's exclusives, uh, the Chanel haul going on here. Picked up a couple of things, um, probably more than I should have, but uh, that's never a bad thing. Got some EDTs, some EDPs. Just want to share uh, some of my opinion w uh, about these things. Um, some I like, some I don't like. Um, got some unboxings here, picked up a few things. So I'll share that with you. Um, but in the last couple weeks, I have been picking up either backups or, or just things that are new to me in, uh, in EDT. So here we have, this is my first ever um, Wad the Eel. I'm not sure if my camera is going to focus there. Looks like not. Okay, but take my word for it. This is Bois de Ile and EDT. Uh, very light, very transparent fragrance. Um, always really kind of struggled with picking up Bois de Ile, this very creamy sandalwood based perfume. But um, I think this is a tester here. You can see, well, you won't be able to see, but it says tester here on the back of the box. Don't worry about buying testers. I've had nothing but uh, good luck with testers. Um, they're usually as good or even better than um, what you're gonna be buying in the package in the store because uh, with my experience, it's been that um, sometimes these perfumes get reformulated and with a tester, you're either getting, um, you know, quite possibly an older formula. Uh, I know just when I go to the department store here and uh, every time I see um, the Dior Fahrenheit tester, it's always still in the original bottle, you know, with the old style cap. It's almost like, it's not the vintage juice, but it's not far off. So I always seen testers as good things. I'm not really uh, afraid of picking up a tester here and there. Um, yeah, you won't get the packaging, the box, but does it really matter? Uh, not to me anyway. Um, Belder Sparrow picked up the EDT. After trying the EDP, I, I was quite disappointed in the EDP. It, it seemed um, very bland to me. Um, I didn't get the spice. Even the, the greenness, the, the verdantness of this fragrance kind of lost a little bit. And uh, I kind of panicked and I searched out Belder Sparrow. This is a tester as well. And I, I'm almost thinking this is one of the older formulas because it's very strong on me. I remember sampling um, Bell Respiro not too long ago, right before the discontinuation of the EDTs, and performance was very lacking on me. But you know, after trying this, I've got uh, well over 10 hours, and I was extremely happy. But um, Bell Respiro, very green, very grassy, um, spicy. I get uh, quite a bit of spice out of this, and. Uh, uh, animalic in the base with that leather note. Um, really enjoyed that. So this does kind of remind me of a vacation, just like um, you know the marketing is uh, trying to trick us into believing this is uh, Coco Chanel's um, vacation home. And uh, you know when I put this on, I kind of feel like uh, I am overlooking this beautiful green um, landscape. It's very early in the morning. I can smell the fresh air. I can take in the fresh air. I can smell the green grass. It's wet. I can still smell the dew drops uh, glazing the green grass. And um, as time goes on, as this as this fragrance dries down, it almost feels to me like uh, you know the day has passed, the night has settled, and the animalics come in, and um, it almost feels like it, it's musky and dirty and like there's something lurking in the bushes, or something a little bit furry. Um, you know, it could even be a uh, Boy Capel that just uh, finished romp with Coco. Um, it, it's that kind of dirtiness. Uh, I don't find it unpleasant at all, actually. Really, really enjoy uh, Bel Respiro. A really great, uh, a warm weather fragrance, I would say. Um, it's nice, it's fresh, it's relaxing, it's comforting. Not very challenging. That that leathery dirtiness might be uh, a, a challenge to some people. I don't know if you're in an office, perhaps. Picked up. This is a backup of um, Critterusi. I have a 75 mil EDT. I, I really wanted to uh, to back this up um, in uh, 
eau de toilette. Not that I think the um, eau de parfum is bad, but you know, it doesn't hurt to have both. Uh, a, a gorgeous floral leather, love this. And I picked up another backup. This is number 22. Um, if you see this, this is one of my favorites, actually 22. And this is to back up my 75 mil. If you see the juice color, I almost feel like this is a little bit different than the bottle I had previously. Um, a little bit less of everything, but still typically number 22. Um, unlike the EDP, which on, on first impressions, I was really unsatisfied. I, I uh, it's changed so much to me, especially in the first hour. It's almost unrecognizable. Uh, it almost seems like it's lost all of the aldehydes, the soapiness, um, you know, those pastel colors that are so vivid in this formulation. I, I don't get any of that. It seems more woody. Um, I don't get the incense that I find in this. Uh, I'm going to have to test it some more, but uh, honestly, I was so disappointed in the EDP. I can't say that for all the, all the fragrances, but for 22, I was really, really um, disappointed. I also picked up uh, a 28 La Pausa EDT. That is not here yet. I scored that on eBay. It's just been shipped the other day. Should um, get that anytime soon. Okay, so did a little bit of shopping today. I picked up a couple new things that did not work for me in EDT. Um, I know, you all know that uh, a lot of these are very subtle. Uh, they don't perform very good, especially in EDT. Um, let me show you some of the gifts I got first. This is, um, you know, always beautifully wrapped, always excellent presentation from Chanel. This is a f four mil, oh, focus. You're not focusing for me. This is a four mil um, jersey. Let me see if I can get my autofocus here. Autofocus is on. But we are not uh, focusing. Okay, never mind autofocus. Um, Jersey four mil gift from the ladies at Chanel. Again, if you're in the Toronto area, be sure to check out um, the Square One Shopping Center, the uh, Holt Rent Rent Fruit Department Store. They've got a Chanel boutique. They carry pretty much everything. They have the Les exclusives, um, you know, the men's, the women's, and all that kind of stuff. Go see. Uh, Cynthia, Vula, Amanda, great staff. Uh, I was in there today, uh, <laughs> had a great time, just joking, laughing, and, and uh, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, go see them. Great people, great staff. Love to have fun. Picked up a couple of these things. I love these blotters. I love how Chanel is really innovative with these. They got blotters with their names on, so if you take them home, you know, you can remember what you sprayed. I wish more fragrance brands would do this actually. So they've got pretty much every single one with their name on. I won't show them just because of my focus, but we'll move on here. Okay, so this is, like I said in my last video of uh, La Pausa unboxing, I wanted to get Jersey. And this here is Jersey a beautiful lavender based fragrance. Um, like I said, I tried and I tried and I tried the Eau de Toilette and it didn't seem to work for me. I tried the EDP once and it was like, wow, loved it. So there is Jersey uh, Lavender. It's quite sweet. It's quite, um, the lavender is, I think a man can definitely pull this off. It's quite woody. Um, Vanilla, kind of this uh, leathery vanilla vibe in the base, quite musky, um, very long lasting. I got great performance from, from Jersey, you know, a full work day. It says right there in the back, oh, the parfum. You won't be able to see that, but juice color is quite light compared to the others. So Jersey, gorgeous uh, lavender base fragrance. Um, okay, I've got this. Maybe a week ago, 10 days ago, I'm not sure. I haven't opened it, it's just kind of been sitting in my basement. 
And um, let's see what I've got here. Got some samples and stuff. Oh, with with this one, they gave me the four mil. This is number 22 in Eau de Parfum. Um, just a little, I guess, collectible. I won't be using it. I'll definitely be collecting some of these as, as we go on. Here we have, again, excellently packaged. This is number 18. And there is a uh, review on Fragrantica on number 18 that really stood out to me. And it went something along the lines of one of the most misunderstood Lay's exclusives. And I have to agree with that. Um, I liked 18 like the moment I tried it on years and years and years ago. And, uh, you know, wearing it on my skin, it's always smelled great. But whenever I went to go wear it out, you know, in public or just around, I could never really smell anything. And when I did, it was never what I was supposed to be smelling. Like according to other reviews, according to the notes, um, that sort of thing. So here we have very clear juice, uh, a very subtle uh, fragrance, a very subtle performer. Uh, it's pretty much a skin scent, even in Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum I find is much stronger than the Eau de Toilette, which was like pretty much non-existent to me. I could barely smell anything. But um, you know, even in the Eau de Parfum, I'm getting about eight hours max out of this. Um, and again, I, I'm not, when I wear this and I compare it to the notes listed on Fragrantica or even Chanel themselves, I'm not sure I, I'm totally understanding it quite yet. But I used to get a whole lot of patchouli out of this. <laughs> Nowhere ever have I ever mentioned, uh, seen someone mention patchouli. So it, it is quite spicy. But to me, this is all about rose, rose and cumin. I get a whole lot of rose out of this. Um, a very soft, subtle rose in the base. It, this again gets quite dirty. Um, not not like Bel Respiro, but ah, uh, cumin, almost like sweaty body, like like somebody's been working outdoors or or eating really spicy food and they've been sweating next to, um, you know, rose bush. Maybe somebody's gone out drinking uh, heavy all night long. They they you know they they passed out next to a, a rose bush in a, in a park bench. And um, they've been sweating all night, all their uh, their booze and uh, and, <laughs> and spicy food. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, it, it sounds kind of gross, but you know this is actually a very stunning, uh, beautiful fragrance. Uh, Chanel actually claims for this to be all about ambrette, and and I do get that muskiness, and um, I, I think I actually pick up ambrette in in in. in other fragrances more than I do in this one, specifically uh, 1932 and Ego East, which this and Ego East kind of remind me of uh, of each other. They're both very woody, spicy, uh, rose, uh, woods, that kind of thing. Um, I almost think like this is an ode, some kind of ode to Ego East, the original. Iguis, oh my god, it's so stunning. It's uh, To me, this is all spice. All spice. It's a lot of spice. It's very woody. Yeah, and, and it, it's not going to be too much longer before this very um, beautiful rose comes out. So I'm not sure. I'm going to continue wearing this and, and just seeing how it develops. But 18 is absolutely gorgeous. I've got one more here, and um, this is probably one of their most popular offerings. This is Coral Mandel. Uh, I've got this in Eau de Toilette as well, which is the Eau de Parfum. And I gotta say, like on the very first time I sprayed this on the initial blast, I thought, okay, they've kind of dumbed this down because it's not, like the opening is not as, uh, not that Coromandel EDT is challenging, but it was a little bit more dramatic. It seemed like there was a little bit more going on. 
but uh, you know, within 20 minutes, half an hour, this was the regular Coromandel that I knew and loved. Um, performance is, I never had a performance issue with the EDT, no issues with this whatsoever. I'd say it's, it's even, it's, it's just about the same. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Coromandel, gorgeous in any concentration. My preference, I'd say obviously it's the um, EDT just for the opening, but uh, there's nothing wrong with e EDP. If you're looking for EDP, it's beautiful, a little bit different in the opening, and that's about it really. It's just this powdery, uh, just this long lasting. I get almost everything else. Um, patchouli, very spicy, earthy, kind of like this dirty ground, soily patchouli. It's all there. Corn Mendel's pretty much the same thing. Um, that's been my haul. I've got everything there. I've, I think I've shown everything. I've got stuff scattered all over the place. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and we'll see you again hopefully with another haul. Bye.